only use two because the hair actually sticks very oh, well with the glue. Next up, if you guys smokes. have a spatula or an applicating brush, that'll work perfect in this situation. Is that a spatula? Um, You're cooking like in the barbershop. So we've only watched makeup transformations on this channel so far. Today we're going to do something different. We're going to watch men transform by getting new hair. Yes, new hair. Yes, the equivalent of a man wig. Yes, I'm not kidding. I'm actually extremely excited to see this. I've never seen this before in my life. And I'm glad I get to watch with you guys. Like always, go in the comments and tell me what you want me to react to next. The one with the most likes, obviously I'm going to react to. And if you haven't already, subscribe and hit a like if this is cool. Let's get right into it. YouTube is the fit barber today we're gonna to be doing a man unit I've been getting a lot of questions about how do I get it to look so natural I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I do to get that natural look and how to get that synthetic hair to blend in perfectly with their hair a man um, I already have them gutted out I already have a slight fade on his head so if you guys are ready let's get started man I'm ready okay first things first I want to start by cleaning his scalp guys I just went through like six different emotions if you didn't see my face. Actually, maybe four. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Let's keep going. So I'm going to grab my bay room. Same thing I used after a haircut. And I'm going to clean the scalp with it. Next step, I want to bay start room. by spraying two to three coats of no sweat. And I like using this product because it actually helps prevent no the scalp sweat? from sweating so much. And that's going to preserve the lifespan of my unit. Next up, I want to give me a black eyeliner, guys, and I want to try to Holy put this line on as natural looking moly. as possible. So I want to try to imagine what his natural line would be at and try to apply that line there. As y'all see, I kind of went up on my boy on the right hand side. I'm glad they went with the clip. This on. is actually, but I'm gonna get it fixed though. I'm y'all don't worry about it. I'm um, in, I'm in. All my barbers out there, I know y'all looking at that fade too. Y'all probably clowning me, but what I like to do is like put half the fade on. I like to leave the top a little thicker, sir, when I actually apply this. This is like actually incredible, and give scary, it well. enticing. So uh, I like to start off having it like a one and a half or a two. That's a good good length for um, applying these units. Okay, guys, after I get my I'm line gonna talk on, more the next about step it as is going to be applying progresses. the glue. And the way you apply the glue is very important. You don't want to put on too much glue. So if you're a beginner and you're just not starting these units, I suggest you to apply the glue the way I'm doing it in the video here. And what I like to do is apply dots all over the scalp. And that's going to help me get a nice even coat to where I'm not overusing the glue. It's not heavy in some areas and light in others. And it also is going to help with drying. Yo. You want to dry even as well. And when you're doing these units, you can use two to three coats of glue. I only use two because the hair actually sticks very oh, well with the glue. Next up, if you guys smokes. have a spatula or an applicating brush, that'll work perfect in this situation. Is that a spatula? Um, you're cooking like in the barbershop. Focus on the edge a lot, guys, because the edge is very, very important. Um, of course, I want to get everything else rubbed in. I want to make sure that I spread everything out evenly, and that help these dots are helping a lot, guys. Um, it's not heavy in some areas; it's not light in others. I'm gonna get a nice even coat because Yo, I no heat at all, bro. This glue when no dries, heat at all. It's clear. Now that edge I'm, I was telling you guys about, this glue is very easy to work with. So if you get something past the line, you can just wipe it off. Um, when applying the glue and you're working on that edge, make sure you get the bottom of the line. The bottom of the line is very, very important. And then the line I'm talking about right. is that line that we drew with our black eyeliner. That's very, very important. You want to make sure you focus on the bottom of the line, not the top. Um, okay. Make sure you don't have none past that line. Make sure you wipe it off with your finger or some guys. Don't forget, don't have glue no glue past that, that line. line. You cannot cut through that, that glue at all. So um, <sighs> the line is very important. Now I'm doing my second coat. I want to slow it down right here, though, guys. This is very, very important. On my second coat, which is my last coat, I'm going to put a little glue onto yes. his hair as I apply the second coat. And that's going to help with that natural look I was telling you guys about yes. in the beginning. And I'm going to show you how. Now that we've applied our last coat of glue and we've set and let it dry to where it's clear, we're ready to get started. Next up is applying the tracks, guys. You can use any kind of crochet braiding hair to do these man units. Um, I want to know the first person who actually came up with this idea. Like, I want to know, I always like to think about stuff like that. When people are, who created something, like, what were you doing when you were sitting down thinking about this? Were you looking at ramen noodles? 
and you don't like ramen noodles. Hair. Balding. Ramen noodles. Fake hair for men. The most important thing is making sure you match the color as closest to the client as possible. What I'm using in this video is 1B and it matches most clients with dark hair. That's it. How you lay the track. Imagine being the guy that your friend, the barber, is like, hey, I know your hair is thin now a little bit. Can I use you on YouTube in the world to show that? You actually have no hair on top, and this is what we're gonna fake and we're doing. So, any girl is gonna date you and stuff like that. They're gonna, they're gonna kinda know. Like, imagine being that guy. It's very important as well, and I'm gonna tell you why. Okay, my first track, I'm gonna lay it right on top of that glue I told you guys to put on his hair when you was applying your last coat. Um, my second track, I'm gonna lay it directly down the middle. And my second track is basically a guideline for by the time I start working my way in That's side so the middle of the scalp, crazy. The track, it's gonna straighten out my waves to where it look more natural. And he's they're gonna give going them waves. The or they're not going out to the right. By the time I meet up, if you guys don't know what waves are, I'd suggest you go below on YouTube and type in hair waves for African American men. In the middle. I all my waves should be meeting. That was a joke. If you guys don't know what waves are, I'll wait till after my video is done. <laughs> Go and going straight, just like that middle track. And that's why I use it as a guideline. So, is... what I like to do is lay my three tracks first, and then I'll work all the way towards the middle. Now, if they're still sticking up, and you got some parts that sticking up, it's kind of hard to press down with your finger because you might touch the glue and the glue is real real sticky at this point so i like to use the this back is, of my spatula or right tail comb is, to press that this that is something down. hey guys now that i created my guideline with my three tracks i'm ready to get started with um laying the rest of my tracks and um this next track this track is very important guys you want to make sure that you lay the track right next to the first one holy side smokes. by side you want to fit in the grooves just like a puzzle piece sometimes it may not fit and you have to stretch the hair just a little bit this is just stretch that's, it out this is actually and then incredible. press it down but you this want it to be laying so close to where they're almost on top of each other you don't want no spaces in between these tracks guys that's going to give it that real real natural look and then when you cut it down it's going to give it that real real wavy effect so you want to make sure incredible. you lay these tracks you land them side by side to where they're almost on top of each other and they're matching up just like puzzle pieces now i'm going to lay the rest of these tracks guys as you can see i'm leaving a little slack towards the back hanging off and i'm leaving a lot towards the front hanging off and that's going to help with the blend um and giving it that natural look right. when it's time to cut this i hair believe down, you bro right? so stay tuned i'm going to lay the rest of these tracks we don't have a right choice back. back oh man i'm tired of laying tracks what's up guys um the next step i'm gonna be showing you guys that if you have another long track left and it's a small small area you guys don't have to cut that track so that it can fit perfectly inside a small area just lay the track and make sure you have a lot overlay towards the back laying on top of the other tracks or something like that so when we cut it down and it just blend in real perfect um, remember that slack I told you guys not to cut in the beginning, mm -hmm. um, the hair that's hanging over in his face? I told you not to cut that for two reasons. One, so that you can cut it when you get these small, small areas, and you can just fill it in so that you can save more hair out of your bag. And two, is because I use it on another technique, those same little hairs that's left over, to do a hairline repair. And I'm going to be showing you guys that in another video. So He's make sure you subscribe line. and like for more content, guys. Gentlemen, you know I'm what that is. Finish these small areas of hair, and we're gonna get started on cutting. So let me explain what hairline repair is for the ladies out here. Um, as gentlemen get a little bit older, their hairline starts to thin, and we um, I actually don't know what hairline repair is. I just wanted to sound smart for a second. Unit down and making it look real, real natural. Guys, I got about two more tracks here. 
this last piece I'm going to lay, I'm going to show you guys about that overlaying towards the back. You don't have to have a perfect size piece to go on this small area. You don't have to cut it to fit. Just lay it, stick it on there, and um, keep moving. It's going to eventually, you're going to have to cut all the excess off anyway. Um, my next step I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some scissors, and I'm going to just take off that front layer, um, overlay of hair, and I'm going to keep that. Please, guys, do not throw this away. Grab it, put store it in another area. Store because another it's another area. technique that I use that I'm going to show you guys in another video called hairline repair. And you can make a lot of money off those small pieces. Okay, guys, my next step is to get the extra pieces that I have on top of the unit. Get those gone. So first, I want to grab me a dry towel and I want to press down in three areas of this um, unit. This so is I can make sure all my tracks are stuck to the This grid. is incredible. Second, I want to grab my magic clips. And I just want to cut all those extra pieces off. What? And what I'm doing now is just setting myself up with a smooth. This guy's, holy smokes. He's blending the hair. Area so that I can start detailing my unit. Okay, guys, what I want to do after I get those extra pieces off, I just want to create me a real smooth surface, as smooth as possible, so that I can begin detailing my unit. Um, but before I do that, I still have some pieces hanging over the front, so I'm going to grab my clippers and I want to go down at an angle, not straight down, but more like at just just an angle. Yo, um, this is this is art. So that I can get those this extra pieces off without actually going down too I am, much. I am not hating. This is art. Okay, guys, this process um, of cutting the unit down is going to be a lot of hair in your client's face. Make sure you don't let that sit. It can be real uncomfortable for a client, so make sure. Every now and then, you don't get too lost in doing the unit, and you grab your duster and get that face clean. Get that face clean. Okay, guys. Look at that. Face clean. Okay, guys, look at that. I get face look at this guy already. Look at him ready, that, guys. That edge, that extra hair off the edge. I'm gonna focus on cutting the unit down to a nice length before I start detailing it. Um, if you took my class before, or you heard about me teaching these classes, I got a saying called the sweet spot. I found the sweet spot when I was first learning the units, and I started working on my mannequin. And the sweet spot is just um, getting the unit to look more natural and it don't look have that noodle look. That's so uh, crazy. Like I'm saying in most guys' units, um, I want to eliminate that noodle look as much as possible. And when you get past that noodle look and you actually get that wave look going, that natural wave look going, it's going to make the unit look so much real, so much more real, guys. What I like to do is focus on the back first and then both my sides, then the middle. So... When I work in the back, I'm just want to cut down to that sweet spot that I'm mentioning just to get it to blend perfectly in with his hair, guys. So continue to go down, guys, on the wave unit until you get that sweet spot that matches and that blend is perfect, guys. Look at that blend. Look how it's going directly into his hair, man, perfectly. And I'm getting it down to that same length um, so that it can look real, real natural. Um, after I finish the back... And are you, are you guys still with me? And, I, and I'm seeing that it's matching up with his Leave a comment below if you're still with me. Thin. Say still with me. start with my sides because that's oh, very important. Still with you. Because getting that um, be synthetic right. hair to blend in perfectly. And that's the whole point of the video, guys. So I'm going to use the corner of my magic clips here. And I just want to go right on top of that synthetic hair that I laid on top of that glue, guys. Remember I told you guys earlier in the video? Um, I'm going to just go right on top of it. I want to go in and out of those grooves with that corner until I get the perfect Write a comment blend. below. And um, I want to do that on both sides until I get that real, real natural look. I don't even know. I'm going to go I don't even know this side and cut it down so I can show this you guys is... the difference from how um, the a comment below looks if... compared to the, the real, real noodle effect. I got to pause this. I'm like baffled right now. I'm baffled. This is like... Hair magic mixed with hair deception mixed with inter interception. I, I try to make a joke about like, I, anyways, finally leave a comment below if you think guys should do this. If this is, this, this should be a thing that <laughs> is already a thing, but if you agree with it. I want you guys to have a visual of that instead of me just speaking on it so that you have a better understanding of what I'm talking about. And I'll show you how low I went from one side to the other. I'm a 
cross for it again. And we're back. Okay guys, as you can see now, I got one side down to the sweet spot that I was mentioning and I put a slight edge on it as well. Oh um, what I want to do now on this other side, God. I want to show you guys, I just want to focus on getting and eliminating that noodle effect. When you eliminate the noodle effect, you're going to Yo, have a is, real, real natural looking This is unit, dangerous. Guys, and it's going to make it, it's going to make your clients come back every time, guys. Um, the more it's undetectable, the more they love the unit, oh, and, yeah. um, the better they feel about it. Actually oh, yeah. getting the unit more and more. I don't so think anybody want wants. Sure that you take I don't it. think anybody wants anybody to know that they have a unit on their head. I'm not hating. I'm just saying, yeah. Ups. Time, guys, and detail your unit to your perfection. Um, these clients are very, very sensitive, man. Some clients haven't had hair on their heads in 10, 11 years. I had a lot of clients. I mean crying getting out the chair yeah because they haven't had head, hair on their head in so long so um i love doing units man and i know you guys are gonna love doing them if you're already doing the units yo big up to this guy big up to this guy because he's making people feel good and yeah no judgment man like if this is you and you want hair in your head no judgment man god bless you man because like this guy he's helping people god bless him and congrats, salutes, guys, because I know you guys are making guys feel way better, man, way better about their um their confidence on um, their everyday life, man, just by applying the unit. Um, what I want to do now is I want to focus on this side here, so I can make sure it blends just like the other side. As you can see, I have a noodle effect here on this other side; it's blended in perfectly. And I didn't do anything special, guys. All I did was take the corner of my magic clips and I went down gradually detailing that one track that I told you guys to lay earlier on top of his hair. Yeah. I want to take my time and get that track cut all the way down so I get to a comfortable sweet spot and it blends perfectly. Now the more you go down on those tracks slightly, it's going to blend on its own guys. You just want to take your time and gradually go down with the corner this of is your, magic. your clippers. And make sure you knock that track all the way down until it matches what his hair looks like on the side. And it's going to it's gonna blend in by itself. And you're going to see the effect of me just gradually going down. Look at that blend, how it's already coming in, guys. Holy and all I've been doing was gradually knocking it down and going in and out of each wave, guys. Trying to eliminate that noodle look as much as possible. Hey, guys, as I continue to go down gradually on those tracks you see i'm starting to get a perfect blend from that synthetic hair to his hair and that's the whole reason of the video guys i really want you to get that natural look on your units it's going to be very very important to get it to look real real natural so i'm going to take my time and continue to knock down holy smokes this is hair until it matches and blends in perfectly with his hair now you're not going to always get a perfect blend guys with everyone's hair he just happened to have some of the perfect hair for this synthetic hair that I, that I applied. He's a now, robot. as I finish this edge and finish getting everything knocked down, what I want to do is stand back from the unit, and I want to look at it head on. I want to see if I left any um, noodle-looking effect in the wave unit. If so, I want to go in and take my time and detail that noodle effect out so that I can have a real, real natural-looking unit, guys. Okay, guys, once you step back from the unit, you're going to notice that you may have some areas that still give you that noodle effect like I have here in the video. And what I like to do is go inside the grooves of those waves and eliminate that noodle effect as much as possible. Eliminating that effect, guys, is the key to getting you a natural looking unit. Okay, guys, towards the end of the unit, what I like to do is focus on the small things, man. When I teach my class, I tell my students all the time, focus on the small things. So I'm going to use the spritz. I want to go around his edge with it. Do you guys know what that is? It's like basically, I, th I believe. Don't call me on this. It's like a hair dust that darkens your hair. I seen it when I was working on set one time. That's crazy. I want to go around where the synthetic hair blended in with his hair all around his head because I want to spray some fibers to give it even more of a natural look and I want those fibers to stick and stay for a while. 
after I get my fibers on guys, I'm going to do like I do with any other haircut. I'm just going to grab my edges. I'm going to give them a crispy edge up so that it can look real, real natural. And I'm like I said, I'm going to always focus on the small things, man. I'm going to make sure I take my time and give my clients more in value than they give me in dollar. That's how you create clientele. You see what he said? Client. I'm going to give them more value than they give me in dollars. And that's how you make clientele. That's um, that's a quote for life right there. Give people more than you expect and you will get more than you expect. Um, After we edge them up, get them looking all crispy, man. He asked for a part, so I'm going to do a part on the sides. And he even gets a part. The tracks. Anytime you want to do a part inside of the man unit, you have to have that already laid before you actually lay the tracks and i'm gonna show you how guys how to do that in another video but since he wants a part and he wants it on the side because he had it before we're going to add him a little part on the side guys just to spice it up a little bit before i get to that part though guys like i said i'm going to always give my clients more in value than they give me in dollars so i'm going to take my time and get all these loose hairs off i'm going to do He's all the guy. little small details that matter shout they out to tony so much um and it, and it gives your client more confidence, man. It gives them more confidence. I love and, this, um, man. And you as a father as well. He's a good guy, so man. take your time with your clients, man. Give them more in value than they give you in dollar. And that's how you become one of the best barbers ever, guys. Take your time. The best in anything. Okay, right now, I'm going to add the part in. And I'm just going to do a simple straight part. And I'm going to do it right along the lines of that unit. So this part is actually in his hair, guys. It's not in the unit because you cannot cut inside that unit with that glue and that track on. I promise you, you cannot. And try not to get your clippers in that because it's going to mess your clippers up as well and it's going to dull your blades, guys. As we're going to finish off with a little wig shine and we are done. And the look and smile on his face is priceless, guys. And that's what I do these units for. It's more than just about the money with me. It's about giving my clients that confidence and that smile back. Thanks for watching my channel. If you guys liked it, please like and subscribe and share, guys. You be blessed. Honestly, I came in thinking I was gonna laugh, da 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 da. No, wow, that's incredible. Shout out to you guys. The link to his original video is below. Go check him out, go subscribe to him. That's incredible. Wow. How you feeling, how you look, and change your life. Literally change your life. Man. You already know what to do. Go below, comment, and tell me what you want me to react to next. And if you haven't already, subscribe. And like because we're a family. Thank you for watching, my real family. Mwah!